Sorry. They're so excited. Half a day and welcome to Flexing the Lovers out there, this episode is for you. Join me as we get to know more of this community rescue clinic and meet their cute little guests. To all my subscribers and viewers, thank you, thank you very much. I will not be here if it weren't for your support. So half a day once again, good afternoon and welcome to my episode Flexing the 670. So I'm here right now at Siphon Cares for Animals. Right. Yes. And I'm here with uh, Chloe, so we'll get to know more of Chloe and we'll meet their cute little guests later on. So, Chloe, welcome to my channel, Flexing 670. Thanks, good to be here. <laughs> uh, well, I moved here in 2008, a couple months before Typhoon YouTube, mm -hmm. and I started volunteering here and eventually started um, taking care of the animals as well. Um, I moved away for about a year this last year and came back to work over the summer. Uh, well, it started before I got here by, I think, three years, three years before I got here, um, by Beth Quisco. Um, it was in response, obviously, to the wild dog problem here and mm -hmm. the animal cruelty problem. Um, someone needed to take care of all the animals here. A lot of people couldn't afford to go to the team, so she started this place up. Inside man. There's a lot of problems that are specific to Saipan. Make sure that you deworm your dogs regularly. Um, there's heartworm here, as well as intestinal worms. Make sure that you keep them on a clean tick medicine, because the ticks here are crazy. And they carry a bloodborne illness, um, like a bacterial infection. Um, and make sure that you're vaccinated, because we're also seeing a lot of the viruses that we vaccinate against in dogs that are not vaccinated. So, yeah. So, you can check the schedule here of their clinic, and then... And uh, yeah, you can visit them anytime you guys have a problem or anything that you need to do for your pets. So you're not limited to dogs, right? Any pets? Dogs and cats. Dogs and uh, cats. We've had goats and chickens. We don't know a whole lot about them, okay. but we can. <laughs> so, and the dogs around here are for shelter and adoption? Yes, every dog here is up for adoption. Right. So how many times or often do you guys have uh, adoption? Uh, well, today we had Four adoptions? Four today. Four adoptions, yeah. Sunday's a big day for adoption. Sure. We encourage people to come in on Sunday to adopt. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh this is Bender. And he came in with his mom. Um, who's back there? That's Chappie. He's uh probably about five weeks now. Chappie. And what is a breed? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> he looks like he's gonna be bigger than his mom, who we have in here. We don't know who his dad was. He might be a pit bull mix, honestly, with how big his head is. <laughs> Just to share sure. with you guys, well, back way back in Philippines, probably 20 years ago, I had pit bull. I I, I actually bre I bred a uh, boxer mm -hmm. and a uh, rottweiler. So I love big dogs. Way back when I was in Philippines, that was it, 20 years ago. So I know some stuff and um, about the dogs, how to take care of them, breeding, um, vaccination, and everything. So. Yeah. But here in Saipan, uh, I haven't. So, but then I know my kids are, they really love animals, especially dogs. But our apartment won't allow us. So I think when we move, we'll come here for sure and <laughs> check on your dog. Take one out? Yes, for sure. <laughs> Matty, my daughter, she'll be very excited. She'll be very <laughs> happy for that. <laughs> Kittens. More kittens? 
More cats? Okay. We're probably going to move somewhere else in the country. But with undeveloped land, so we have to build on it still. This was some um, uh, residence before? Yeah. Oh man, look at this. So cute. dogs, puppies, cats, and kittens, but we are full right now. If you find a puppy or a kitten or a dog that you want to rescue, bring them in to us and we can help you take care of them at your house. We can't accept anymore because we're too full. Uh, Sorry. For donations, uh, we always need dog and cat food. Um, and if you want to donate to our GoFundMe, it's GoFundMe.com slash SCA Donate. Thank you. Until the next episode, keep that positive vibes and esta.